Hello. Happy Monday. I am sleepy. I'm just sitting here and Boo's sleeping. Um, got up very early. Couldn't go back to sleep. Um, I'm drinking. Um, I ran out of my diet cream soda, a and So I made myself some unsweet tea. Well, I think that interfered with my sleep because too much caffeine. So anyways, got up very early because I woke up and couldn't go back to sleep and then they were doing the radon test. So I had to get up for that because Gladys is here but she's in the basement taking a class for work. Um, so um, and Blue's like a toddler. He wants to be, like, if I'm here, he wants to come up here and get me, get me up. He wants to be by people. But anyways, I'm going to read the devotion from this one today. God, letting God. And I'm going to glasses on so it will be clearer. It's about peace again. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. John fourteen twenty seven. What if we don't have peace? How can we give what we do not have? We get it from Jesus. He gives it. We receive it. The Prince of Peace gives us a peace beyond understanding. Can you hear Blue snoring in the background? <laughs> Speaking of peace, how do we go about receiving such peace? By asking for it, letting go of our discontent and our troubled hearts. I need to hear this. We have so little confidence in our own self-worth that we are never content with the way we and others are. Yet our discontent can work for us too. Our sense of uneasiness can be so great that we become exhausted and just quit. <laughs> I, was like, eh, I, I quit. I just quit. That's a wonderful place to start. Rather than remaining restless, we can rest in Christ. We can place our concerns in his lap. This will take the focus off ourselves and others and place it on the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Christ has what we desire. He can calm our troubled and fearful hearts. He has soothing words for each of us. He yearns for us to take what he has for us, his peace. O oh, Prince of Peace, give me the peace you have just for me. Help me receive it as the gift it is. Amen. Um, so, if you guys know that I started swimming, I joined the Y and I started swimming. Now I need to cancel my, I'm going to cancel my Planet Fitness membership um, because I'm going to be going to the, I was going to keep both. But then, like a week after I joined the gym and started swimming, I swam three times and then um, I hurt my back. I was helping Gladys flip her bed. And I hurt my back, so I haven't been able to swim. But I'm hoping it's getting better. And uh, at first I was wearing Gladys' back belt. But it's getting better, so I'm hoping to be able to swim again. And um, I'm starting to eat. I'm eat, eating less. Not really eating too much different. I um, Because this year I did lose 26 pounds, but I just... After the summer, when I was getting more and more stressed, um, like July, August, I started gaining some of that weight back. But I lost weight by just eating less of, eating what I liked, but I would just eat, eat less and not eat so much in the evening. And so that worked well for me. And I exercised, you know, I was hiking a lot when I was, um, traveling to different places I was walking a lot um, 
and now I'm going to be swimming. And I was swimming when I was in California, too. I used to swim in Georgia at a physical therapy place, um, the Cantrell Center. That's where I used to swim in Georgia. So, yeah, I've been swimming for a while. I love to swim. Um, so hopefully when my back is um, better, <laughs> I'll get back to swimming. And uh, I'm not going to drink so much caffeine because... Now I'm really tired, um, because I couldn't go back to sleep this morning. Anyways, happy Monday. Love you guys. Bye.